the stories all about how our knights came in and poked up the crowd. And we'd like to take a minute, just pull up a chair, tell you all about the week on Inside the Lair. Work hard and know how to play. Singing out, working, drumming all cool. You hear the bands and the choirs repping our school. When a couple of guys thought of something good, started making videos in our neighborhood. If you ever miss a game, don't get scared. Catch the recap with Kirby and Blair. Good afternoon, <laughs> Night Nation. It is Wednesday, September 6th. And you are September 7th. September 7th. <laughs> you are inside the lair with Kirby and Blair. He's Kirby. I'm Blair. And welcome to season seven. Who would have thought we'd make who, it this way? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? We made it and we are here. And this is our annual back to school episode. Uh, kids haven't started yet doing things. So it's kind of just me and Kirby going old school. But Kirby's still a lot to talk about, even though uh, school is just getting going. Yeah. And the first thing we should talk about and congratulate is the Triton KW. I think Hayfield's even in yep. on that. That girls soccer team just won their first game in program history last week with a two to one win over the Titans from TCU. Yeah, that's a great win. It's a great springboard. They've been working really hard in this co-op for many years. Yeah. And finally, varsity level, getting that first win, super awesome. And we've got a KW connection. Yeah, here's Haley Boudin with more information about that big win. Hey, I'm here with Haley Boudin, soccer player for the Triton Hayfield KW soccer team. Congratulations, Haley, on picking up your first ever program win last week. Take us through the game. Um, so halftime, we were tied at zero. We ended up scoring the first goal and they came back pretty quickly with their first goal and we stepped it up and scored our second goal and held it to there till the end. So. Being a student from Kenyon Wanamingo going and playing with other players from Triton and maybe even Hayfield, what's it been like in terms of the environment playing with other, other students from other schools? It's really good. Everybody's really inclusive and if you were to look at our team you wouldn't even be able to tell that we don't all go to the same school. Well, that's pretty cool unity right there. Now, if somebody wants to catch uh, a soccer game, uh, how do they do that? Um, so they don't have it live stream, but you can watch it at Triton on the turf field. All right. The home games are hosted at Triton. Thank you, Haley, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, Keep up the good work. Yeah, the girls play tonight at home against, uh, I'm not sure who, but they play at 6 o'clock in Triton. The boys' team plays tomorrow night. Awesome. All right, well, couldn't be inside the lair without some sponsorship, so right. let's have a word from our sponsor. Midwest Machinery is your go-to John Deere dealership serving Minnesota and Wisconsin. Swing on by any of their 30 locations to find new and used agricultural, commercial, and residential equipment. With knowledgeable and experienced mechanics, their service crews will take care of any tune-ups or services in a timely manner. The Wanamingo location is also a certified steel dealership. Stop on by their Highway 60 location to check out their selections. For all things John Deere, Midwest Machinery has you covered. And find any promotions by going to their website, www.mmcjd.com. Midwest Machinery Company, legendary products with legendary service. Thanks to Midwest Machinery Company. Hey, the girls volleyball team last night, Blair, they took on Randolph yeah. and ended up winning three to zero, excuse me, three, three to one. one after losing the first set. And the Knights really looked not like their selves that first set and then really turned it on the last three. Yeah, you know, I reflected a little bit. I watched the match from home. You and uh, Molly Ryan did a great job, Kirby. Um, and I think when the season's over, we're gonna point to the first game of that Randolph match, and we're gonna say that might be a turning point in the success of this team. Um, 
because they came out and blew the doors off the Rockets after that. Yeah. And and I think that was a good wake up call early in the season. No harm done in losing one game in a match. Um, and I think it might. This team has got to build some confidence a little bit. And I think that's going to be something we look back and say, hey, that was the match where we decided, hey, we're not going to let teams that are subordinate to us beat us. And last week they played Maple River to start the season and won three games to zero. So the Knights are 2-0, but going into the season, we had graduated a handful of seniors, some that played a major role on the team yeah. last year. And those answers of who's going to take those spots are starting to be answered, or those questions yeah, are going to be answered. Yeah, I mean, Nora Retzikol, Josie Quam, Grace Nice too, Josie Quam. I mean, Josie's played a lot, but yeah. that this is a team that we're starting to see these more younger, inexperienced players now get to varsity yep. and showing that they belong. And that's a lot of fun to watch. And Vanessa Schmidt as well. Those girls are very improved. Yes. Tess Erlinson has gotten lots of varsity experience. She's improved. Josie Quam, she was the setter last year, one of them. And she has uh, transitioned to being a hitter now. Yeah. And it's just fun to watch how they've all morphed and really taken on their roles and have really improved over last since last and year. And don't forget Rachel Ryan. Rachel is all over the place. Yep. She'll I mean she'll sacrifice her body to keep the ball in play. And uh, it's a good team. It's a real good mix. I don't know if you watched last night, but Carmen Nearson went on a roll serving yeah, she did, 12 yes. points in a row. And her and uh, Emma Paulson are doing majority of the setting and they've really doing a nice job setting those girls up. It's a good up. team. I mean it's a good team and I think they're gonna Makes some noise. And did you know the, the first rankings of the year came out for volleyball yesterday? And the Knights are in the top 10, number six to start the year. I think it's a good place for them. Yeah. And other area teams, I think number three is BA. Okay. Um, I believe number five is Mabel Canton, a team that we played in the playoffs last year. Yeah, that's that section's loaded. Yeah. So some, some really good teams around the area. Awesome. And Zimmer Mazeppa is number two in class double A. Wow. Yeah, they had a good year last year, so yeah. they say they were a year away, now it's this time, so awesome. Well, the football team also off to a good start, Kirby. Thursday night, they hosted New Richland, Heartland, Illinois, Geneva District, yep. uh, Nurhag, and um, you know what? We didn't know. There were a lot of question marks. We didn't know what we were going to see, and what we saw was a really good performance by the Knights. They won 26-6. to six. Yeah, graduated 12 seniors from last year's squad. And those boys that jumped into those roles, there was nine open spots yep. on the starting offense, okay? Including all five linemen spots. So five fresh linemen, they dominated the line they of did. scrimmage last week. And that was really fun to see. I thought the secondary played well. The all area player of the year was their running back. I think his name was Andrew Phillips. Yep. And shut him, down. shut him down to 48 yards. Yeah. I mean, it was a really good game. It's just one step. I talked to Coach Weemey today. He said, you know, it's just one step. Now it's Cotter week. We got to work, worry about Cotter. But boy, um, they have a good opportunity to be two and zero here come the weekend, and and that'd be a really good step as the schedule will get significantly tougher after these first two weeks. Dylan Bartell rushed for 120 yards on 25 carries, added a touchdown. Cal Lipke added another 80 yards on the ground. Good to see him back after missing all of last year. He had a touchdown in the final minutes. Uh, Will Van Epps had a rushing touchdown from a quarterback sneak, and then he threw a touchdown to Colton Steberg in the fourth quarter. And I really think the game changed. First possession of the second half, Knights were able to force a fumble and recover it on the five-yard line of the Panthers. Yeah, that short field was really advantageous to the Knights, and um, I kind of destroyed the will of the Panthers. So uh, great, great game to start. Now it's Cotter. And then back home next week, I believe, for Rushford Peterson. So that's right. It'll be fun to see. Um, strength and conditioning, Kirby. Yes, it's coming back for the entire year. It's seventy-five dollars Monday, Wednesday, Thursdays of each week that there is school. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, at six forty-five until seven forty-five a.m., Coach Tracy Erlinson will be uh, running the strength and conditioning program. Yeah, it's it's a great great thing, and for all those athletes out there, and even if you aren't on a team. But you want to be in good shape, it's a great way to do it. Sure. Um, and even, you know, I tell kids that are in the fine arts, uh, tuning your instrument, being in shape is really important too for the for the activities that you do, whether it be singing or band or theater. Uh, being in shape is, is a good thing. So 
Sign up, get in there. All right, we've got the chess club yeah. that will be starting again October 4th. This was new last year, Mr. Yep. Putt running it again. All students in grades five through 12 who are interested, uh, there's an open house meeting on September 15th. That's Thursday of next week, uh, right after school, 315 in Mr. Putt's room. So if you're interested in chess, Here's your opportunity. It's a great activity. It's a great game. Um, and it's a real strategy game, and that's what I like about it. So awesome. Sign up. Hey, short one today, but shorty. But hey, next week we'll have a lot more to talk about. So thanks everybody for watching. Season seven. Can you believe it? I can't. And welcome back. I'm Kirby. He's Blair. See ya. See ya.